हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकल्केट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट्स टुडे इन आवर प्लेलिस्ट बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स इन आवर चैप्टर अल्टरनेटिंग करंट सर्किट वी विल एनालाइज करंट वोल्टेज रिलेशनशिप फॉर साइनोसोडल अल्टरनेटिंग सप्लाई फॉर प्योर रेजिस्टेंस प्योर इंडक्टर एंड प्योर कैपेसिटर फर्स्ट बाई टेक्नोमेटिक आइडेंटिटीज एंड देन बाई यूजिंग फेजर मेथड दिस स्मॉल लर्निंग वीडियो विल डेफिनेटली इम्प्रूव योर कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग करंट सर्किट एनालिसिस लेट्स स्टार्ट रजिस्टेंस इज ऑपोजिशन टू द फ्लो ऑफ करंट दिस रजिस्टेंस प्रॉपर्टी डिमांड प्रपोर्शनल वोल्टेज फॉर फ्लो ऑफ करंट थ्रू रजिस्टर एंड इंस्टेंटेनियस वोल्टेज अक्रॉस रजिस्टेंस इज कनेक्टेड विथ इंस्टेंटेनियस करंट थ्रू रजिस्टेंस एज वी इज इकल टू आई आर वेयर एज इंडक्टर इज अ कॉइल प्रॉपर्टी वेयर चेंज ऑफ करंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम डिमांड प्रपोर्शनल वोल्टेज एंड वोल्टेज अक्रॉस इंडक्टर एंड रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ करंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम गॉट ए रिलेशन वी एल इज इकल टू एल डी आई बाई डी टी कैपेसिटर इज टू कंडक्टर सेपरेटेड बाई इंसुलेटर विच स्टोर चार्ज प्रपोर्शनल टू वोल्टेज चार्ज इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ करंट एंड प्रपोर्शनल टू ये कॉन्स्टेंट इज वन ओवर सी एंड दिस इज रिलेशन ऑफ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस कैपेसिटर एंड करंट थ्रू कैपेसिटर वी सी इजिकल टू वन बाई सी आई डी टी इन ऑल थ्री रिलेशन इफ वी टेक करंट एज स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस साइनोसोडल क्वान्टिटी आई एम साइन ओमेगा टी एंड इन इंडक्टर इट वुड बी डिफरेंशिएटेड एंड इन कैपेसिटर इट वुड बी इंटीग्रेटेड इन रजिस्टेंस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ आई एम एंड आर कैन बी कॉल्ड एज एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड पीक मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस रजिस्टेंस गॉट अ रिलेशन विथ पीक मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ करंट एज वी एम इजिकल टू आई एम आर एंड इफ वी डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाई रूट टू इट बिकम वी आर एम एस इजिकल टू आई आर एम एस इन टू आर वी इजिकल टू आई आर एंड बोथ करंट एंड वोल्टेज आर इन द सेम फेज इन रजिस्टेंस वेर इज इन इंडक्टर वेन आई एम साइन ओमेगा टी इज डिफरेंशिएटेड आई एम बींग कॉन्स्टेंट कम आउट and differentiation of sin omega t become omega cos omega t now the product of i m with omega l become amplitude of voltage and we can write cos omega t as sin omega t plus 90 so we can say peak magnitude of voltage across inductor is peak current multiplied by omega l this omega l quantity is just like resistance but due to 90 degree phase difference between current and voltage there won't be any average power in such inductor circuit and their power only represents store and release of energy or that power is called as reactive power and this property of inductor which oppose flow of current and demand proportional voltage for flow of current in alternating supply is known as reactance and reactance of inductor is known as inductive reactance or xl and in terms of rms our relation is v rms is equal to i rms xl and current and voltage got 90 degree phase difference and current lags by 90 degree in inductor from voltage whereas in capacitor when i am sin omega t is integrated i am being constant come out and integration of sin omega t is minus cos omega t by omega and we can call 1 over omega c as capacitive reactance xc and product of i am and xc become peak magnitude of voltage in place of minus cos omega t we can write sin omega t minus 90 degree and this clearly indicate that in capacitor from voltage current leads by 90 degree or from current voltage lags by 90 degree so in resistance current and voltage are in the same phase in inductor and capacitor there exists 90 degree phase difference in capacitor it is current which leads voltage whereas in inductor current lags voltage and in r it is v is equal to ir for l it is v is equal to i xl and for c it is v is equal to i xc where xl is omega l and xc is 1 over omega c alternating current circuits could have different configuration of resistance inductor and capacitor in series parallel or combinations and in analysis we have to find out relation between rms value of voltage and rms current through circuit and we have to also find out phase difference between voltage and current for different circuit conditions a simple and direct method for such analysis is given by cp stanmates and this method is known as phasor representation phasor is a complex number representation to represent rotating vector 
here this e symbol is exponent and e raised to power j omega t represent rotating nature of this phasor vector and apart from that it include both amplitude and phase angle information or t0 instantaneous magnitude the concept of phasor is based on euler identity which relate exponential function to trigonometric function and according to euler e raised to power plus j theta is cos theta plus j sin theta or e raised to power minus j theta is cos theta minus j sin theta now this represent a vector of unit magnitude having angle theta from horizontal reference and its horizontal real component is cos theta and vertical imaginary component with j sin is sin theta now in place of theta if we take a time varying omega t factor then e raised to power plus j omega t become cos omega t and its vertical component become j sin omega t now this omega t will change with time and this vector will start rotation in anti clockwise direction with angular velocity equal to angular frequency and such rotating vector or phasor as its projection on vertical axis this j component represent instantaneous magnitude of sinusoidal quantity apart from rotating nature phasor got magnitude and t0 phase angle and this magnitude angle format is known as polar format it represent a scale length proportional to a magnitude and which makes an angle theta with horizontal reference and its two component on horizontal real axis is a cos theta and on vertical imaginary axis is a sin theta and these two component form is called as rectangle format and if we know a and theta we can find out a cos theta and a sin theta or horizontal or vertical rectangle component and if we know horizontal and vertical rectangle component by pythagoras calculation we can find out polar magnitude of phasor and angle with horizontal reference can be obtained from trigonometry in this right angle triangle as tan theta is ay upon ax so out of the four quantities polar magnitude a phase angle theta horizontal component ax vertical component ay if any two is known to us we can find out other two in this complex representation this j operator is root of minus 1 and this j number cannot be represented on real line and we can't place j in between 0 and plus 1 or 0 or minus 1 but j got a separate line of representation in complex number plane and this line is known as imaginary number line and this j operator when multiplied with any vector then it will rotate that vector in anti clockwise direction by 90 degree without change of magnitude say for example this five vector is at horizontal reference line and when it is multiplied by j and become j5 its angular position will shift in anti clockwise direction by 90 degree without change of magnitude and this become plus j5 or plus j directions similarly if j5 is once again multiplied with j then this j square 5 and since j is root of minus 1 j square will become minus 1 a uh, real number so this j square 5 become a minus 5 and minus 5 is just opposite to 5 so our vector position of minus 5 is here and it is clear that a multiplication of j has shifted a vector without change of magnitude in anti clockwise direction by 90 degree similarly if minus 5 is multiplied with j and it become minus j5 then its position shifted by 90 degree in anti clockwise direction become this direction so to this horizontal line upper directions are plus j direction and lower directions are minus j directions phasor diagram or phasor representation is a graphical way to represent magnitude and phase angle position of alternating quantities and here scaled line is used to represent magnitude of alternating quantity and relative angular position represent phase difference among two or more alternating quantity the length of vector or scale length represent magnitude which may be peak or rms value of alternating quantity and angular displacement among these scale line represent phase difference in fact these phasors are rotating vector but we draw them as a vector when the rotation of those phasors is frozen and in frozen state rotating phasors become just vectors here we have 
टू साइनोसोडल क्वांटिटी वोल्टेज इज स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस साइनोसोडल वोल्टेज वी एम साइन ओमेगा टी विथ स्टार्ट विथ जीरो इंस्टेंटेनियस वैल्यू एट टी जीरो पोजिशन एंड इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज आर एम एस मैग्नीट्यूड वी एंड दिस ई रेस्ट पावर जे ओमेगा टी रिप्रेजेंट रोटेटिंग नेचर एंड ई रेस्ट पावर जे जीरो रिप्रेजेंट टी जीरो इनिशियल एंगल एंड इट्स पोलर फॉर्मेंट इज वी आर एम एस मैग्नीट्यूड एंड जीरो फेज एंगल पोजिशन एट शोन बाई दिस डायग्राम एंड इफ करंट लीड्स वोल्टेज बाई ए फेज एंगल फाइव एंड इज आई एम साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव दैन इट्स एम्पलीट्यूड इज रूट टू आई एंड आर एम एस वैल्यू इज आई एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट्स रोटेटिंग नेचर द फेजर पजेस टी जीरो फेज एंगल और रिलेटिव फेज एंगल फाइव ऑफ करंट एंड करंट गॉट आर एम एस मैग्नीट्यूड आई एंड इट गॉट फेज एंगल फाइव विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वोल्टेज एंड सिंस फाइव इज पॉजिटिव क्वान्टिटी सो करंट फेजर इज प्लेस्ड विथ फाइव एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन सो हेयर करंट लीड्स वोल्टेज और वोल्टेज वी लैक्स करंट टू एनालाइज साइनोसोडल अल्टरनेटिंग करंट सर्किट और टू फाइंड आउट वोल्टेज करंट रिलेशनशिप वील अज्यूम वोल्टेज एज स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस वेव वी एम साइन ओमेगा टी एंड एज पर इट्स एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी द रोटेटिंग नेचर ऑफ फेजर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई ई रेस्ट फॉर जे ओमेगा टी एट्स एम्पलीट्यूड इज रूट टू बी वेयर कैपिटल वी इज आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड एज पर इट्स स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस पोजिशन इट्स फेज एंगल इज जीरो सो वोल्टेज फेजर इज मैग्नीट्यूड वी एंगल जीरो इन पोलर फॉर्मेट एंड इन ऑल अवर एनालिसिस विल कंसिडर करंट एज आई एम साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव सो अगेन विथ सेम एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी सो फेजर रोटेट विथ सेम फैक्टर ई रेस्ट फॉर जे ओमेगा टी एट्स एम्पलीट्यूड इज रूट टू आई वेयर आई इज आर एम एस मैग्नीट्यूड एंड इट्स टी जीरो फेज पोजिशन इज फाइव सो करंट फेजर गॉट आर एम एस मैग्नीट्यूड आई एंड फेज एंगल फाइव एंड इन आवर एनालिसिस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट रिलेशन बिटवीन आर एम एस वोल्टेज एंड आर एम एस करंट एंड द रिलेटिव फेज डिफरेंस एंगल ऑफ द टू एज पर ओम स्लो द इंस्टेंटेनियस करंट थ्रू रेजिस्टेंस एंड वोल्टेज अप्लाइड अक्रॉस रेजिस्टेंस गॉट ए प्रपोर्शनल रिलेशन एंड ओम स्लो इज वीजिकल टू आई आर वेयर स्मॉल वी एंड स्मॉल आई आर इंस्टेंटेनियस वोल्टेज एंड इंस्टेंटेनियस करंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ दोज इंस्टेंटेनियस वैल्यूज वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट देयर रेस्पेक्टिव फेजर वैल्यूज वेयर ई रेस्ट पावर जे ओमेगा टी इज रोटेटिंग नेचर ऑफ फेजर एज पर एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ alternating quantities capital v is rms value of voltage applied across resistance and capital i is let rms value of current through resistance and phi is phase difference angle between voltage and current and imaginary part of phasor represent instantaneous magnitude of voltage and instantaneous magnitude of current now here current phasor with magnitude rotating nature and phase angle is denoted as voltage phasor divided by r operator we can write this r operator in complex quantity as r plus j0 its real part is r and imaginary part is 0 so current phasor is obtained as division of voltage phasor with r operator and this rectangle form of r operator can be converted into polar form as r e raised power j0 is got real part r cos 0 or cos 0 is 1 so this real part is r and imaginary part is j r sin 0 and sin 0 is 0 so imaginary part is zero so this rectangle can be converted into polar form and this expression can be simplified as v by r e raised power j omega t e raised power j zero and by comparison we can say rms value of current is v by r and phase angle of current with respect to voltage phi is equal to zero so current and voltage are in the same phase and rms magnitude of current is given as rms voltage divided by resistance this polar or rectangle representation of r operator is very important resistance operator got a magnitude r and its angle with horizontal reference is zero or its real part is full r and its vertical part is zero and once we draw position of r operator in this complex plane we can find out current and voltage phasor positions as current is a phasor or rotating vector so it rotate with constant angular velocity in anti clockwise direction and if we froze its rotation when current is at horizontal reference 
then the voltage of resistance come along resistance operator line and this diagram clearly indicate that when rotating current phasor is at horizontal reference the voltage of resistance is along resistance operator line and resistance operator got an angle zero so voltage also got the same angular position as that of current both current and voltage in resistance are in the same phase in resistance sinusoidal alternating variation of both current and voltage always are in the same phase that means both have zero instantaneous value at the same time both will have positive peak at the same time or identical phase conditions coexist for voltage and current in pure resistance and this is also represented by aligned position of current phasor and voltage phasor as they rotate they always have same aligned position during rotation rotating vector as their projection on vertical axis represent instantaneous magnitude and at t equal to 0 both current phasor and voltage phasor are at horizontal reference line and their projection on vertical axis represent zero instantaneous magnitude and with rotation they increase their instantaneous magnitude at 30 degree phase position instantaneous magnitude of current and voltage become half of peak value after quarter rotation at 90 degree phase position they would have their respective positive peak further rotation reduce their magnitude and after half rotation the polarity of voltage and direction of current will reverse and 2-3 cycle rotation will generate negative peak instantaneous magnitude and one complete rotation will generate one complete cycle of this sinusoidal alteration. In pure inductor, instantaneous current and instantaneous voltage got a relation V is equal to LDI by DT and in inductor, applied voltage and rate of change of current with respect to time are both proportional in place of instantaneous magnitude of voltage and current we can write their phasor expression and imaginary part of this phasor represent instantaneous magnitude so imaginary part of l di by dt is equal to instantaneous value of voltage when differentiation is performed rms current root 2 and e raised power j phi being constant come out of differentiation and e raised power j omega t differentiation is j omega e raised power j omega t and our expression of equality of imaginary part become equality of two phasors so v is equal to l di by dt expression after simplification in phasor format become this expression now here root 2 will get cancelled out and we can write current phasor which represent rms magnitude rotating nature e raised power j omega t and t0 phase angle phi as voltage phasor divided by j omega l and this complex quantity is written as 0 plus j omega l and omega l is inductive reactance denoted as xl this rectangle expression can be converted into polar format as e raised power j 90 is cos 90 plus j sin 90 and cos 90 is 0 so its real part is 0 and sin 90 is 1 so its imaginary part is full j xl so 0 plus j xl is xl e raised power j 90 now by comparison we can say i is v by xl so rms magnitude of current is rms voltage divided by inductive reactance and phase angle phi of current is minus 90 so current lacks voltage by 90 degree in pure inductor to understand and remember 90 degree phase difference between voltage across inductor and current through inductor and current lagging voltage one can remember inductive reactance operator either in polar form or rectangle form and here in polar form inductive reactance got a scale length and its angle with horizontal reference is plus 90 degree so it is 90 degree in anti-clockwise direction in plus j direction and if we see its rectangle component then its real part projection on horizontal line is zero and complete xl is in plus j vertical direction as shown here by this black vector position now current is a phasor so it continuously rotate in anti-clockwise direction with velocity equal to angular frequency and if we freeze its rotation such that this current phasor occupy horizontal reference position then when current is at horizontal reference line the voltage of inductive reactance is along inductive reactance vector line or is in plus j direction 90 degree anti-clockwise from current and this expression clearly indicate that voltage of inductor leads current by 90 degree or current in inductor lacks voltage by 90 degree.
so in inductor voltage shown by shan wave shape leads current shown by orange wave shape by 90 degree so peak of voltage comes before peak of current with 90 degree phase difference and this is represented by this phasor diagram where anti clockwise position of voltage leads current by 90 degree or clockwise position of current lacks voltage by 90 degree and at t equal to 0 if we see vertical projection of these phasors then current has zero instantaneous value at t equal to 0 and voltage got positive peak projection on vertical axis as time progress and phasor rotates the instantaneous magnitude of voltage as projection on vertical axis of voltage phasor reduces and instantaneous magnitude of current increases and after quarter rotation current will have peak positive instantaneous magnitude and voltage will have zero instantaneous value and further rotation will revert polarity of voltage and current reduces its magnitude and at half rotation current again attain zero instantaneous value with voltage at negative peak position and further rotation generate further cyclic alternating sinusoidal variation of voltage and current with voltage leading current by 90 degree in capacitor charge on plate is directly proportional to voltage applied across it and q is cv or v is q by c and in place of charge on capacitor plate we can say charge as integration of current so instantaneous current through capacitor and instantaneous voltage applied across capacitor got a relation v is equal to 1 over c integration i dt in place of instantaneous magnitude of voltage and current we can write phasor expression and imaginary part of phasor represent instantaneous value of voltage and instantaneous value of this right hand side and when integration of current phasor is performed root 2 i e raised to power j phi all three are constant so they come out of integration as multiplier and this become integration of e raised to power j omega t and e to any power is the only mathematical function we go, which got same type of differentiation function and same type of integration function so integration of e raised to power j omega t is e raised to power j omega t and this multiplier of time j omega comes in division in denominator along c and this become our expression as imaginary part of this complex quantity is the same so the complex quantities are also the same when we cancel root 2 from both side of this equality we can write current phasor as magnitude rotating nature and t0 phase position as voltage phasor multiplied by this denominator part to other side comes in multiplication but we always divided voltage phasor by certain operator to get current phasor so this j omega c multiplication can be written as division of 1 over j omega c now 1 by j when we multiply this by j to both sides then it becomes j over j square or minus j and we can write 1 over omega c as capacitive reactance and this rectangle format can be converted into polar format as xc e raised to power minus j90 and current phasor become voltage phasor divided by this capacitive reactance operator now it looks that all three current phasor voltage phasor and capacitive operator got identical exponential power and magnitude notation but note that here in current phasor and voltage phasor this e raised to power j omega t represent their rotating nature whereas capacitive reactance is a vector operator and it got fixed position in complex plane now this rectangle to polar conversion can be explained as xc e raised to power minus j 90 is xc cos minus 90 plus j sin minus 90 and cos minus 90 is 0 and and sin minus 90 is minus 1 so minus j xc is nothing but xc e raised to power minus j 90 and if we compare then we can say rms magnitude of current phasor is rms voltage divided by capacitive reactance so this is magnitude relation of rms values of current and voltage and phase angle phi of current become plus 90 that indicate that current phasor leads voltage phasor by 90 degree we can remember this as spelling of capacitor and current both starts from identical c letter so in capacitor current leads the phasor relation of current phasor and voltage phasor for capacitor can easily be understood if we remember capacitive reactance operator either in polar form or rectangle format in polar format xc 
got an angle minus 90 or angle with horizontal reference line in clockwise direction 90 degree as shown here xc in rectangle format is imaginary only of minus j type and we know from horizontal line bottom is minus j side so xc position is shown by this black vector position and we know current phasor and voltage phasor both are rotating vector and if we froze its rotation when current phasor is at horizontal reference line then voltage of capacitor got the same aligned position as that of capacitive reactance and as capacitive reactance is in minus j direction so voltage of capacitor is also along minus j direction or we can say among current and voltage current being in anti-clockwise direction leads voltage by 90 degree so when rotating current phasor is considered at horizontal reference line the voltage of resistance come along resistance line along current voltage of inductor come along plus j direction leading current by 90 degree and voltage of capacitor come along xc line lagging current by 90 degree so this beautiful learning video has explained that simply the position of r operator inductive reactance xl operator or xc operator on complex plane will generate current voltage phasor diagram and for that rotation of current phasor is frozen when current phasor is at horizontal reference and in that condition the voltage of resistance come along resistance line along horizontal reference line in phase with current voltage of inductive reactance come along plus j line 90 degree leading to current phasor and voltage of capacitor come along minus j line lagging current by 90 degree our other learning video of the same playlist are equally useful to enhance your subject understanding and exam score. And if you need online doubt clearing classes or exam centric dedicated notes from our channel, do join our membership. Happy learning. Have a nice time. Thank you very much.